good memories here. Yeah, so we're talking big blues. Yeah. Just nothing bigger. Nothing Except bigger. The Wanderers now. <laughs> <laughs> Back in your day, it was all big blue. What was, what is the rivalry to you? Well, it was the initial rivalry, really. Um, before the Wanderers came along, it was the big derby. It was the game that you look forward to. Uh, it was the very first game we ever played. It was against uh, Melbourne Victory uh, in the first year when Dwight York uh, was here. He actually scored in that game. Um, so it's, it's obviously a lot of fond memories here. Always a great occasion, always a big crowd, and um, normally they're very good games. I guess you going from player to coach. Uh, how have you seen the Big Blue evolve from 2005 to now? Well, obviously great uh, when, when I was a player. I've had a lot of memories. I've scored in a, a few of them as well. Um, a couple of grand finals as well against them. Um, but as a coach, you, you still have great memories. Obviously, um, the one here we, we will speak about later is one of the best ones in the semi-final. Um, obviously, to win 6-1 was, was great. Um, and then to go on and win the final as well. Season 1, 2005. Yep. What do yep. you remember of that? Uh, I remember opening the scoring. Uh, it was, a, it was a good, quite a good goal, actually, this one. Uh, I made a forward run on the right side of the edge of the box, the 18-yard box, and I sort of outside of the foot, bent it into the far corner. So, And then, obviously, I think Carney scored after that. So there's both of us celebrating there. And, uh, yeah, that was 2005, 2-1 win. And great celebrations with Carnes. And that's only you know the second, third ever Big Blue at that stage. The rivalry was already pretty intense, wasn't it? Yeah, I think uh, the moment uh, the A League started, I think you know we was meant to be both two biggest clubs, and which we are. And uh, yeah, it's always started really from that first first ever game. T 2008 here, me and Broski was scored in the fourth minute, I think here, uh, and. Yeah, it was a 2-2 this one, 2-2 draw, but again, it's raining in this game and uh, obviously the emotions are, are showing there between me and Broski bracing together. What are the emotions when you score? Uh, there's, you know, when you score in any game, it's great. Obviously, Big Blue is, is even bigger against uh, one of the biggest clubs and uh, yeah, it's, it's great to score. Uh, and obviously to try and help out the team. And you can just tell with me and Broski cuddling there, it's been a, a long time friendship. He's caught the one thing on his mind as he pulls up, he goes straight for goal. Low and hard, it goes under. On to picture number three. 2010, 3-0 win. I think, yeah, very happy. Obviously that was uh, when I was captain in the club as well, my last season. That was away from home. We we beat on three nil. Uh, I remember Bridgie uh, scoring two and Broski scoring one in this game. So, and what does it mean to lead the team to a big blue win? Yeah, it's an honour. Obviously, I think you ask any player that has captained the club, it's it's a real honour. Especially I've been here, you know, for a long time. That was my fifth season as a player, um, and it was great to captain the club. It's it's a great honour and. Uh, a real pleasure sometimes to, with the players that we had to to lead them out there each week. Yes. Yeah, this one's um, obviously the very last game of the season, my very last game ever for the club. Corica bids farewell. Um, so it's quite emotional, this one. Um, obviously, we won that game, which brought us the Premiership and obviously brought us Obviously the trophy, first time premiers, I think, back then. Celebrations and the party could start at the Sydney Football Stadium. It's Sydney's day and it is Sydney's season. A first ever premiership secured it and against their old rivals to boot. It doesn't get much better than that for the Sky Blues. Yeah, like I said, that was my last game, so very emotional. Johnny scored in this game and I think uh, I've been Carol Cassette. Correct, yeah, Carol Cassell, two bombs actually, two very good goals. Here's Cassell, dropped nicely for him! Carol Cassell draws first blood for Sydney FC! What a brilliant strike! Uh, I only lasted maybe 15, 20 minutes in this game, and um, that was it, so the boys 
the boys brought it home in this game. It was, it was a great uh, way to win the Premiership. And it was neck and neck as well in that race. You obviously needed a win. Yep. They only needed a point. Yep. How do you prepare? Well, you know, we knew what we had to do basically. We, we knew we had to win the game. Obviously it was at home as well, so we had the fans right behind us and the cove right there. So um, it was a fitting way to, to finish the, the season off and to, and to win the Premiership on the last day of the season. And then you capped it off with that grand final one there? Uh, yes. Obviously I wasn't involved in the grand final. I missed the semi-final and the final, but uh, I was down in Melbourne, obviously being captain, I, Wanted to be there for support for all, obviously the players and, and be there just to make sure, you know, um, it was a big moment in, in the club's history as well. So that's holding up the grand final one, which is great. Uh, that was the second time we won that. Um, Terry McFlynn captained the side because myself and uh, Johnny Aloisi both were injured. So we had a, quite a few injuries leading into this game. So, um, but. We went uh, all the way, went all the way to penalties, obviously 1-1 on the Bridges scoring. And uh, obviously they, them equalising and then obviously the penalty shootouts. Uh, I remember Bjorn stepping up to, to score the winning penalty. I remember Clint Bolton making two very good saves as well in the penalty shootouts. And also I think everyone remembers uh, Kevin Musket, I think, hitting the post. Uh, and the silence when, when that happens. Uh, very, very good memories. Suit and tie in that one, not similar to what you were in. Yeah, exactly. Did you, did you, so. you wanted to be a coach? Back then, yeah. They were, well, I knew I was coming to the end of my career and then, and I was going into coaching after that. So into the, the youth team, I, I coached straight away after that. So yeah, I was sort of on my way. Had done all my coaching badges, or most of them, up until then. And then, um, yeah, going into coaching the next season. And the last one we've got there. Um, Obviously yeah. a game no one will ever forget. Yeah. Um, your first season as a head coach yeah. in the A-League, a semi-final, 6-1 win. Yeah, doesn't get much better. <laughs> first uh, year as a coach, yeah, and to win 6-1 in, in the semi-final, obviously, yeah, it's, it's, it's very good memory, some very good play, some, some great goals as well. Everything obviously went our way in that game. Um, but also then it led to a lot of confidence leading into the final as well. Yeah, it's obviously a nice photo as well with Uffi, who's obviously coaching at Wellington now. He's my assistant and Ryan Grant, who's, who's been here a very long time and I've played with him and now I'm obviously I'm his coach and, you know, he's, you know, we all know we love him and, you know, he was fantastic in that game as well. And to do it over Melbourne? Yeah, obviously, the big blue, like we said, uh, very, very good memories and and it's like we, like we said about all the photos it's it's a massive game and and it doesn't get much bigger obviously semi-final you want the boys to perform um and to turn up and, and thrash up 6-1 obviously is a great great performance you can't get much better than that and just the last one looking back at all these photos um all these big blue memories uh, yeah. how does it make you feel i guess yeah um, Makes me excited actually, looking forward to obviously our match on Saturday. So, you know, as a coach or as a player, you want to be involved in these big games. And, you know, this, like we said, this was the biggest game that you look forward to before the Wanderers came along. Um, so this is no different. It's, a, it's going to be a, a very crucial match for us. We're, we're on a roll at the moment. Um, they're, they're struggling a little bit, um, but we need to win. We, we want to get back to the top. And we're starting to, to produce uh, what we expect from the team um, and, and, and the results that we expect. And um, this week is a very important match for us.